I am Adil Kumar and here is another question to review the concepts of vectors. The question here is, the vertices of a triangle ABC are given by A 4 2 minus 1 B minus 1 5 2 and C 3 minus 3 K. If the triangle has a right angle at vertex B, find possible values of K. Right? So let's sketch the right triangle and then we'll figure it out. So let's say that's the right triangle for us. And let's say there's another line. And it is given to us that the triangle has right angle at vertex B. So this vertex is B for us, correct? So we can write this as, <coughs> let us say A, B and C. And C. Now the question is, we need to find the value of k so that the triangle formed is the right triangle. Now, if we have right angle at B, it really means that the dot product of BA and BC should be equal to 0. Right? So that is what we are looking for. Now, we know what A, B, and C are. We can find B and B, C, and then their dot product. So let's find what B, A is. So B, A will be A minus B. So we are finding B, A. A is 4, 2, minus 1. So position vector will be 4, 2, minus 1. Take away B, which is minus 1, 5, 2. And that gives you 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 minus 5 is minus 3, minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3, right? So, so we know vector BA is, is this much. Now let's find what BC is. BC is C minus B, right? C minus B. C is 3 minus 3k take away b which is position vector is minus 1 5 2 and that gives us let me continue here 3 plus 1 is 4 minus 3 minus 5 is minus 8 and then k minus 2 k minus 2 so we have the vectors now we can find the dot product so BA dot BC is equals to 5 minus 3 minus 3 dot 4 minus 8 K minus 2. Okay? So that is the dot product. <clears throat> Let's calculate. 5 times 4 is 20. Minus 3 times minus 8 is plus 24. And we have minus 3. I'll write minus 3 times k minus 2. Then we'll <coughs> equate it to 0. Okay. So that's what we get. Let's expand this. Uh, this one. So we get 20 plus 24 minus 3k plus 6. Right? 3 times 2. So 0 equals to 20 plus 24 is... 44 plus 6, 50, right? So we get 50 minus 3k. And from here we can rearrange 3k equals to 50 or k is equals to 50 divided by 3, right? So we get the value of k which is 50 divided by 3. So our answer is k equals to 50 divided by 3, right? So that is how you can find it. I'm Adil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.